Hello, my name is Mark, and you just listened to the clave, the most fundamental instrument in the musical journey we're about to embark upon, the journey to the island of Cuba. So why is it that we should talk about Cuban music? Is it because Cuba has such an intricate mix of ethnicity and diversity in its music that it's probably the most profound place to go learn and listen to music? Or is it because that it's had a, such a profound impact on American mainstream music that we don't even realize that we are listening to Cuban influence. Take this song, for example. And then listen to this Cuban cha-cha-cha tune that's more traditional, came out a decade before. Very, very similar, isn't it? So it turns out the previous song was inspired by this traditional Cuban cha-cha-cha song. But we can't really talk about Cuban music without talking about the impact of this particular continent, Cuba, the impact of Africa. Cuba had more slaves than the United States ever did, and that meant that African influence still continues to show up all over the place in Cuban music and culture. From Africa came the drums and the folkloric dances. This one is about the ocean goddess on the right. Also, that led to the origination of Afro-Cuban dances. And I was gonna show you a video of an Afro-Cuban dance, but I said, screw that, why don't we just do a demo? You ready? <laughs> All right, Dana. So, what's happening in that dance is, this is a very flirtatious dance. The guy's doing this thing, and the motive of the dance is to do this move, a move called vacuna, literal translation, vaccination. <laughs> so, while the guy is trying to vaccinate her, she's trying to protect herself and walk away. Well, we can't talk about Cuban music without talking about the impact of Spain either. From Spain came dances like waltz and swing, and they influenced Cuban music and dance that we see today. So what does the Cuban map look like when we talk about dancing? The right older province of Orense led to the dance called Son, traditional dance. Then the central province of Matanzas led to the dance called Danzon, that led to the origin of this dance called Rueda de Casino, which if you go to Cuba and sit in front of a TV set, this is a dance you see people competing against. So Rueda is danced in a circle, and since you've already seen one demo, I didn't think it made sense to do another, do another demo. But, never mind, just kidding. Let's see another demo. <laughs> Rueda de Casino. Como? Y un saludo para los timberos de Cuba. Give it up for Laura, Dana, and Sandeep. And then for some reason, I have a blank slide, which I don't quite comprehend, but we'll come co on. So, what we have learned so far is the impact of Cuban music on American music. We have learned about the impact of Africa and Spain on Cuban music. But what I want to talk about is the impact of music on you and I. That music connected Cubans together through thick and thin. Music connected Cubans and Americans, but music's connect you and I. Because you and I probably listened to the same, sometimes shitty pop music growing up. So for the last part, I thought what we would do is we put that music to perspective. So what I want all of us to do is to play this rhythm. Come on, folks, back up on the stage. What we're gonna do is we're gonna play the Cuban clave together. So this is what it sounds like. You ready? Pa, 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 pa. Pa, 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 pa. Anche tu me has sentado en el abandono. Anche da has muerto todas mis ilusiones. Y en vez de maldecerte con justo tono, en mis sueños te colmo, en mis sueños te colmo de bendiciones. That's all I have for today. This is Dana, Sandeep, and Laura. You went with me to a journey of Cuba and learned about how it connects it all. And I hope to see you all on the dance floor someday. Thank you very much.